find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Good morning, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the video. Shout out to my brother for bringing me the camera. Uh, so actually I'm taking my MacBook down to Apple to get that fixed. Uh, basically my keyboard started messing up. If you guys have the new MacBook, you guys know what the hell is going on and uh, why fix it if it's covered under warranty. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off. I finally got an appointment with Apple. It took me about three months to get an appointment with Apple because of this whole coronavirus situation. So luckily I do have the Mac Pro at home. I think I'm gonna start editing on that at least for the next two videos. So let's head down to Apple, drop off my MacBook. And once we drop off the MacBook, we're gonna head down to the DMV and hopefully get this uh, 535 registered. I'm kind of scared to see how much it's gonna cost to register, mainly because he was blatantly honest on the pink slip. He, what he did was right, but it's gonna hurt me a lot. So I guess we're about to find out how much money we're gonna have to pay out of pocket to just get this car legally under my name. So this is gonna hurt. Guys, I love this car. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. That Mustang in front of us got nothing on us. He said, screw the alarm. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we are here at Tire Guys. We just pulled up a tire, guys. So we're getting the rear two tires replaced. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But um, yeah, the outers look good. Yeah. <laughs> so a smart little thing they just told me, because you guys can see my outer has a lot more tread than my inner. So what they said, every few months, you should like pretty much flip your tire left and right. Um, basically just have even wear all the way around. That's how you get the most juice out of your tire. I feel like if these are Michelins, I would do that. But these are not Michelins. Um, the cost of demounting and remounting is just not worth it. Uh, so yeah, uh, for those of you guys who are wondering about the, I'm rocking, it's a Nankang and uh, the current Fitman 275s. 30s, 19. Anyhow, I'll check back to you guys when uh, when the tires getting replaced. Guys, so this is my tire from the outside. It looks pretty good, but look at my inner completely shot. So yeah, guys, uh, that's the reason I have to get new tires. Look at that. Oh my god. Well, let's get it. It's got the new tires on. Look how thick these are. I got the lines and everything. We are good for another like six months. <laughs> we just got some new tires on the car. Uh, good to go on that. So that's awesome. Bad thing is, I'm actually very late to my Apple appointment, and uh, I scheduled this three months ago. So. That was probably not a good move of my aunt, but I did call them. They did say if you're a little bit late, that's okay. So I, I'm Arab, so they need to understand that Arabs a little bit is about an hour. So I hope that's cool. Catch you guys when I'm there so I can focus on the road and uh, get there as efficiently and as safely as possible. All right, guys, just parked the 435, have my computer. Just go ahead and drop it off at Apple real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I guess there's a line, but it is what it is. All right, guys, don't mind my little mustache of a scarf right there. But anywho, just took my MacBook down to Apple, and they said they're just going to replace my top case, and the issue could come back. And I definitely think it's going to come back, which is just very stupid. And then uh, basically for a $4,000 computer, they quoted me only, I think they were going to give me 750 bucks. What a joke. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace the top case. I might even just sell the computer and um, on eBay or something. I know they go for about 1500 bucks. So once I sell it, I'll just go ahead and upgrade myself. And uh, it is what it is. It really sucks. That keyboard is just trash. We're, ahead, we're heading back to wheel and tire zone. Uh, I just need to check the balance on the tires and then we're gonna be heading over to the DMV and hopefully getting this, this 535i registered. Now, I'm not ready. <laughs> you guys, probably guess down below in the comments before we get there, how much is probably gonna be to register the 535? My guess is $900. I'm guessing for the cheapest 535 out there, it's gonna cost me $900 to put under my name. Actually, no, I think, I think honest to God, $1,000. So let me say a thousand bucks. Back home. And just like that, guys, we are in the 535. Check this out, look at that luxuriness. Anywho, um, we went ahead and just put up the registration right there because this car has no plates and now every car has plates even if you buy a new one. So not trying to get pulled over. We're gonna be heading down right now to the DMV and smog the car. Hopefully we can get this bolt done within the hour. So we're kind of in a rush here, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can smog this car. If it will pass, it does have a muffler delete, but that's about it. Uh, no check engine lights, no nothing like that. And then we're gonna go down and hopefully get this thing registered. So, lots to do, lots to do. See you guys at Smog. All right guys, so this is a little Papa DMV right here. So, uh, 
I think we're at, yeah, we're at the right place. Um, I don't know exactly how I feel about this, but let's get it. It's the only other DMV that's local that's open, so you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Gonna head over to the small place right now. Guys, we are going off to the next location. It did pass smog, thank the Lord. So uh, let's head out. So yeah, smog complete. Uh, I'm already 25 minutes late, but I called them and they said they'll stay open for me. So shout out to them. So for that luxury, I don't mind paying them that fee now. All right, guys, pray for me. It's under 950. I already paid 53 for smog. So pray for me, guys, please. Well, new title for the video, guys. Uh, DMV rejected registration. Um, I cannot believe that. But basically, uh, they said that the, the car had this car had over three different plates. So that being said, they are unable to locate uh, pretty much registration for this car. So that being said, I need to go to an actual DMV to clear it and all DMVs are closed. So today is one of those days where like everything is just so smooth, you know, but like what can you do? You know, this is life. Not every day is butterflies and sunshines and tropical rainbows and all the good stuff. So, so for now, currently I have no, uh, nothing to legally drive this car which sucks i might stop by his house and ask him for his plates uh just so i could temporarily drive this car um it really just sucks anyway trying to stay on a positive note we are good we are blessed we are healthy so uh you know this type of stuff it happens i, I just never thought to a clean title but anyways it happened you know it happened so let's head home maybe try again at a different location and uh, we might be able to get lucky and register in a different location. So I'll check back to you guys tomorrow when, you know, DMVs are open. That was, he actually stayed an hour after closing to try to get this thing registered for me, and he couldn't. So that absolutely sucks. Um, shout out to him for uh, staying there and trying to help make it work, but uh, the DMV will not let him. It keeps on rejecting. Anywho, I'll catch y'all tomorrow, so peace out, y'all. This is the second, well, actually, technically the third DMV, second day, and uh, let's hope to God we can get this car registered. If not, we're literally gonna have to wait till the DMV opens again. So uh, wish us luck, guys. Heading out to the DMV, uh, let's get And this DMV, guys, I got plates, tags, and it's good till next year. So this car is literally good for registration for a whole year starting next month. Like, so basically almost 13 months. Technically, that's how much I pay registration, like, up front. So good to 2021 July, which is next month, which is sick. We got the plates. We are good to go. I was really scared I won't be able to register this car, but uh, luckily I did. Um, fees, thousand bucks. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't want to show you my all my information, my credit card stuff, but uh, well, technically my debit card stuff. But yeah, thousand dollars to register this car. You know, it's about 750 in uh, taxes. I think it was like 720 in taxes, um, roughly. Actually, no, I think it was like 750, 750 in taxes because it was a little over a $10,000 car. Registration was like 180, I think. Um, and then a few tr like transfer stuff came out to be a thousand bucks and then $50 for uh, their fee um, because DMVs are closed. So it's like the convenience fee. Plus I don't have to wait in line. I just went in there, paid the 50 bucks and they took care of it. Plus uh, the extra 52 for smog. So all in all, I'm at $1,100 into the car already, but this car is under my name now and it's good for another year in terms of registration, which is more than enough for me. So uh, yeah, boys, uh, this is very, very good. Let's go home, put on the plates and uh, celebrate. I think I have to get my brother some Jamba Juice. I, I don't know why I'm getting my brother something to celebrate, but I feel like, you know what? Let's stop by and get a Jamba Juice for me. Whenever something good happens, you know, you kind of have to like, kind of celebrate it so you know like i'm not scared. i'm not saying go splurge and go jump like 500 bucks but you know like a jamba juice for six dollars i think i have a buy one get one too and yes i use coupons i mean hey if you have one why not use one why why be the person to waste money just because you don't like using coupons if i got one in the mail i'm gonna use one a jamba juice i think so they like blocked out the lettering and everything what the heck virgin today i don't know what we're doing both of this for seven bucks guys see coupons is worthwhile in the f10 look at these wheels beautiful and five wheels let's get in sorry guys for vlogging on my phone but uh i just have to say thank you all so much again for the constant support i know this is coming out of nowhere but i just love you guys so much thank you guys so much i'm just drinking this smoothie and i'm just like i would not be able to afford this smoothie if it wasn't for you guys like it's just crazy how much you guys have changed my life i just want to say thank you all so much and uh let me go ahead and go bust my brother with this smoothie that you guys got him so uh I'll, I'll, let me just go give this to him and then uh we'll go right back into the <laughs> and then we'll get right back into car stuff one second all right guys so i just spoke with my brother back with the camera so i didn't get the car right here for y'all so three two one all right guys i'm absolutely destroying my drink but 
the 5 Series is here, and uh, dude, this quad tip looks absolutely stunning. Uh, not as stunning as the just shoes my girl got me, but anyhow, let's go ahead and remove these janky little things there, two screws, put on some new plates, we got new tags, I love new tags, 2021. Actually coming up is this car right here, I'm gonna have to upgrade those, unfortunately. Um, I actually do have the Save With BMW plates for uh, like the front plates, I might actually throw it on this car for a photo shoot one day for both cars having the same plates, I think that'd be super sick. So I think I'm gonna do that when this build is nearly complete, but um, we are far from it. Far from it as in like the looks of it, but not far from it in the near future. It's definitely all gonna happen in the next maybe month or two. This thing's gonna be fully built in less than a month or two. I can guarantee that for you guys, so stay tuned. But anyway, we got plates right here. Let's go ahead and throw these plates on. This thing perfectly legal. So yeah, three, two, one. All right guys, so for the front, I went in and just removed the plate. There is two screws, but honestly, it's better than some front plates. Um, for the bumper as well, it does need to be put up a little bit. He went ahead and put two black girls for me, so that's pretty nice. Um, but it does have a pretty massive gap, so we're gonna have to fix that. Probably get that fixed hopefully in the next video with a couple other things that we'll be doing to this car. We do need a detail. I know from the exterior it looks absolutely immaculate, but I wanna detail the interior as well. And as for the rear, we finally have some plates on here, registered and everything, and this is finally getting sent out to be under my name. So I'm super hyped for this. Let me know what kind of build you guys want to see with this what kind of wrap what kind of you know if i was to do wheels should i lower it you guys let me know down below I'm, i'll go ahead and reach out to some companies and make make the dream happen so uh this build is with you guys like all my builds guys whatever you guys want i will go ahead and do so without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out